Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly here, and today I am going to be showing you how to get user input and then validate it using C++. So by getting user input, I mean getting input from the console or the terminal. And by validate, I mean basically getting the user input, putting it into a variable, passing it into a function, and then determining if the data is what we want or not, based on certain conditions. This is designed to work with all my other tutorials. You don't need to watch them, but if you do, there's a knight up in the corner. So let's get right into it. Firstly, make sure you import IO stream and string. After that, in our main method, we do stdc out, please enter your name, slash n. And std string name is going to be the variable we're going to store our user input in. After that, we are going to then do std get line, stdc in, and name. So this line of code is going to get whatever the user inputs on this line and then hits enter. Quite literally getting the contents of the line. So stdc in is the input stream. We need to pass this in so C++ knows where to get the input from. Name is going to be the variable we want to store the user input in. And get line is the function that does that. So now that we know how to get the user input, we want to do stuff with it, don't we? Up here, I have made a little validation function. Don't worry, this doesn't really matter. I'm just going to show you how you can use the user input with these functions. But basically, it's bool because it returns a true or a false. Validate input is the name. std string input is the first parameter. And this is basically going to be where we're going to put our name when we call this function. And int size is going to be another parameter. It's going to be something the length of the user input has to be greater than to be considered valid. Click the eye up in the corner if you want to know more about length checks, but you don't need to understand it for this tutorial. And then inside you do return, input.length is greater than size. And this become, returns a true or a false to whatever we call the function. So that's all good, but how do we actually do this? There are many ways we could go about doing this, but a really simple way is to use an if statement. So basically, an if statement, uh, you put if, then you put in some code, a condition or some code, but ultimately it's going to result with a boolean, a true or a false. And basically, if whatever's inside these brackets is true, we're going to execute what's ever in the if statement. Otherwise, we just carry on like normal and ignore this. So we're going to do validate input name five double equals true. So we're going to be calling our function. We're going to pass in or give this function the name so it can validate it. And then we're just going to put in a five as the lower bound of this length check. And then we do double equals true to check if it's equal to true. You can actually get rid of this double equals true if you want to. And by default, it'll check if the function is true. But I, but I am going to keep it there to make it more readable for you guys. And then inside you do stdc out, two arrowheads, well done, then put a space before the final speech mark, and then put name. So we're going to be printing out the user's name after saying well done, if they enter a valid name. But what if they enter something that's not valid? We might want to tell them something, give them some constructive feedback as to what they did wrong. So we can do an else statement, which basically means if this statement isn't true, then we're going to do what's in the else statement instead of doing what's in the if statement. So we're going to give some constructive feedback and just say noob. And that's basically it for this tutorial. So hit control S to save your work and then hit play. Let's enter my name. Make sure you're tabbed into your console before you start typing. And it says noob. Why? Well, because max is only three characters long, but we want something that's greater than five characters long. So it printed the noob part because this isn't true. Let's try again. Let's do max o diddly. And it says, well done, max o diddly. So it says well done because obviously it's valid. And then it says max o diddly after because it's just saying my name. Anyway, thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more C++ tutorials. And there'll be a link in the description to a playlist full of validation techniques you can do and it'll just work with this tutorial. Thanks for watching.